Hey, hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna look at the How It Works page for the upcoming Canvas starter site. This page is a little different than the Get Started page, which I've done a, a couple videos on, a couple different styles there for you to choose from for the Get Started page. This basically picks up where the Get Started page leaves off and expand, expands the details on you know, the customer journey. This gives them a bit of uh, more information and kind of walks them in like you're scrolling down a page versus, you know, left to right, which is, you know, the get started page presents. Uh, I'll show you both of those here in a second. Uh, I'm going to follow along here with my build notes that I've written. And uh, to get to those, we're going to go to the my listing club website. That's my listing dot club. Click on the my listing starter sites card. Click on the Explorer button and then click into the canvas card. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the notes and click at the time of this video anyway, it's at the very bottom of the notes. Click on the How It Works page, toggle and expand that. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to my other screen to follow along with here. Again, this page acts as a step-by-step -step guide with visuals, whereas the Get Started page is more of an abbreviated version that gets right down to the point. So from the top right up here, we're gonna click in, in the get started CTA and pull up the get started page. So this is what I mean by an abbreviated page. Just get right to the point. Here's our order of things that we want them to go in. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can click these CTAs and it's a jumping off point for them uh, in a small amount of space. Now, whereas the get started page, which you can find under the more menu and how it works, this is more of a scroll down page with screenshots, um, really getting into explaining you know, how how things work, uh, and you can get more elaborate. Obviously, on your own website, or you know, once you get a hold of this starter site, you can get more elaborate. You can add more items. Obviously, do whatever you need to do there. But this, um, I think, it's pretty awesome as it is. Uh, a quick note on the screenshots that you see here. This is done with Hoverify, which is a club partner, and I've also got a guide and a, a video on how I create these. It's super easy to do once you get your setup ready to go and you've done it a couple times, it just becomes super, super easy. You can punch, knock these out really, really quick. Okay. Okay. So claim listing CTA, the claim listing CTA calls up the canvas claim listing pop-up. So I'm going to, we'll backtrack if we have to, I'm going to scroll down here and show you this. So we've got a, a nice screenshot here of what the claim listing pop-up is going to look like, which I'm gonna show you now. And you click this claim listing button, it pulls up the claim listing pop-up, and then they can do a search. So if I do a search for the word expert, you'll notice in my screenshot, it looks exactly like I've got, got here. So I, I took Hoverify and go ahead and do the responsive, which is how I do it. And I just choose for now, they're going to do a major, they're working on a major overhaul update to this plugin. So they're going to get new devices and things like that here soon. But I just use the iPhone eight, um, right here. I, I think it looks just, it looks just fine. And then, um, scroll down here to claim listing. And it's actually, it's like, you're actually working on the website you just click that claim listing button. Okay. That's going to give you the pop-up and then type in the word experts. I'm oh, sorry, expert. And then that gives you that screenshot. And then you can you can capture the screenshot. So for that, I just do, and you can watch the video on how I do the whole process, but this is pretty much it. Uh, and you just capture the screenshot, pull it into your photo editor of choice, and then doctor it up however you want. As you can see here in my screenshot mockup, uh, I took out some of the text below the, the main heading and moved everything up so it's nice and centered just a clean screenshot okay so that is the claim listing cta that is a you know that is a separate template that pop-up is a separate template this add listing cta same i did it the exact same way the screenshot exact same way um you click this add listing button it's going to bring up the add listing pop-up template that's a separate template that you got to get um, you'll notice here that at the time of this recording that i've got seven listing types and there's going to be constantly more listing types added to this for the screenshot i just kept it clean and this did six you know so it's nice and even um, but again that is a separate pop-up template that you need for that as well okay all right so we covered the claim listing cta the ad list cta 
yeah, there's not a whole lot more to say here, guys, other than just, you know, just looking at the design. Uh, join Canvas, that will take you to the login page, as you see there, and that's what we're literally gonna get what's shown here in the screenshot. If they don't have an account, they can create one from that page. We already went over the claim listing. This is real world data too, guys. Like if I was, this is exact verbiage that I would use on a site. So that is um, pretty cool in my opinion. Um, little tips here on some of these, like a little little tips text here with a nice little background and a link to the most expensive package. We're just trying to get them to think about upgrading their package as they get to the step three. Moving on down here, we've got a Canvas uh, Assistant Offers. This, this, the word Canvas is the site title. So that's dynamically pulling in whatever you name your site. You can you can easily adjust this and, and make it so that it doesn't do that. It's just a two second change if you wanna do that. Um, then add your add your own little introduction heading there if you want, or don't even use this. Don't even use this grid. But this the idea here is to to put offers in here. You can add more. You can clone these. You can remove a couple. You can repurpose them, move them strategically throughout this page. Whatever you want to do. Uh, step four: build your listing. I uh, really cleaned up this screenshot to make it super simple and clean. Same thing, we're giving them, giving them the idea, planting that seed in their head. Hey, get your plan upgraded. Get to the most, the highest tier that we offer so you can get all the features. Uh, step five is the listing approval. And um, it's kind of encouraging them why they wait for their, their listing to be approved. Then, you know, shop our, shop our store. If they click that button, they're gonna go to the store page. Step six is reach further, and this is again pushing them, encouraging them to go to your most expensive plans, packages. Uh, a nice little feature here is the embedded, this is, or sorry, nested, nested accordions here. So you can put whatever information you want within each of these accordions. Each of these is a nested accordion. You drop whatever you want. You can put an image in each of these, a button, whatever you want to do. But, it's kind of a nice feature to put a lot of content within a small amount of space. And that's showing them all of the things that they would see on the guest starter page in an abbreviated format. So if I click on this button, it wouldn't open in a new tab, but it would just open this page. And you'll see that this page or this section right here is an abbreviated look at this overall page. And I can figure out why that's not loading. There we go. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's the, if you've seen the video for this already, uh, it's a pretty cool page, but it looks it looks similar. It looks very similar. Uh, that is intentional. Uh, over time, I will um, create multiple versions of all these templates, just putting different ideas in there. So as you can see here, um, it, there's subtle differences, like you know, putting this nice little number above each of these, that section. So little little nuances in there. Obviously the screenshots are different and these little um, text tips down here are a nice addition. But over time, I will take these templates and I will make all kinds of different versions of them to choose from. But that is that and then at the bottom, um, there is a newsletter sign up box. You just need to plug in your newsletter solution of choice like MailPoet into there and off you go. You can turn this into a contact form. You can turn this into ad space. You can remove it. You can do whatever the heck you want to do. Um, my advice it would be um, to take this, if you're going to use this on a lot of pages as the starter site does, take this, create it as, all you got to do is save it as a template and then embed this as a template on all kinds of pages on your site. That way, when you go to change that template one time, if I wanna go in here and just say, instead of sign up, for example, I wanna say subscribe, um, you just change that one time and it's gonna change that on all the forms um, on your site in one shot. So that's what I would do personally, uh, something to think about. All right, uh, let's look at um, dark mode and res the responsiveness in this of this page and then I'll get you out of here. Okay, so this is the dark mode version. There we go. And we'll go ahead and look at the responsiveness using this template. 
Obviously this page up here is not gonna be named this. This is just dynamically pulling in that page like Elementor does. This is just gonna say how, how it works at the top, just like it does here, okay? Okay, that all looks good. Let's check on the phone. Okay, that all looks good. Um, let me show you on the, the, the light mode version to the default mode to it'll, because there's something I want to explain a bit, and then, then it'll get you, get you out of here. So one of the things I wrestled with was centering this information. Um, I wanted to center all of this information, but I just found, you know, you get down here, and obviously you guys can do whatever you want, but um, my methodology for this, I get down here and I like to have, these things are really just look best if they are left aligned, these, uh, anytime you do a toggle, an accordion or whatever. So then I wrestled with, well, I wanted the image to be centered. And so the, what I ended up coming up with was a nice little background around the images to where it makes the image look, you know, full screen on, full width on mobile. So it makes this left justified, left aligned, uh, other, other left aligned elements not look like they're just odd, you know, floating out, like this image just floating out there and you got everything else to the left. So that's why I did that, okay? I think it came, came out pretty nice. Okay, anyway, just wanted to explain that. That's why that was done in case somebody said, well, why isn't everything centered, you know, or something like that, but very easy to do. If you wanna get this template and center everything, it takes five seconds to go through and center everything, but totally up to you there. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.